Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, install Mega 8 configuration on Windows Server 2008. Firstly, we have to download one file, Mega 8 software, and open the IBM website, support, uh, support, um, and you have to look in uh, NSM storage management application. And we will find this file. We have to download download this file, and this is the zip file. Okay, start download. Before I have download that, then we extract this file. You will see this one. Then run the setup file it's mega raid storage manager is start the installation then next and accept terms next organization you have to you need to then click next this complete installation if you special uh, LDAP login details uh, if you have used then you have to server IP and username and others but now we will use this uh, software on the server then we click the no and next and the install and we get some of these in. Yeah, two minutes about later it's installation finish then we will open mega Red storage manager that's easy this is uh, the local IP address on it this is the host name in this operation system that's okay we'll click and right here server administrator uh, username and password this local username and password this login mode is full access that's it we see the our great configuration on this server this is the controller server rate M5050 SASATA controller and there is a four hard drive here yeah, four hard drive one back back planes and two disk groups and three virtual drives so we see the physical tab in the click you see and there is a four physical disk and other capacity and if you want to see the logical drive you click the logical pad logical tab then okay we have one groups it's one and there is a two virtual disk and back to hard drive to disk there is a capacity there's you see the different capacity no problem another disk group rate one there is a one virtual drive total capacity rate one that's okay when you delete if you want to delete this uh, rate configuration click on this the right delete delete the virtual drive uh, ok we can test you have chosen the virtual drive all data will be lost we have no any data on disk I know this but it's a danger uh, you can you can get back this disk when you delete ok now we don't delete that's it you can add new hard drive uh, new virtual disk 
or delete this everything is can do on the windows site thank you guys for watching this movie i hope this helped for this see you next video